Hi, this is Jeff with ProTech Composites and the first of a series of videos we're putting together to hopefully answer some of the more common questions that we get every day regarding carbon fiber in general and, and some of our products in particular. So today we're going to start with one of the more basic ones and that is the relative flexibility or rigidity of the products that we make. And then in future videos, we'll go on to tackle a lot of other topics uh, that we um, find that people are interested in and, and want to know more about. Things like uh, what kind of applications are carbon fiber are, are best suited for, what are the more, what are the, how is carbon fiber made, um, how is it cut, what are the best cutting techniques, things like uh, application of the double-sided adhesive film that we provide, um, all kinds of things. So we've got a, we've got a lot to cover in, in future videos, but for this one we'll keep it simple and short, hopefully, um, and we'll, we'll talk about relative flexibility. So the thinnest product that we make, the most flexible, is our quarter millimeter carbon fiber sheet. This has got a beautiful gloss finish. You'll always, in our gloss finishes, you'll, you'll never have pinholes or surface blemishes. It is going to be a mirror gloss finish every time. This quarter millimeter is ten thousandths of an inch and it's quite flexible as you can see. Um, this one will wrap around about a one inch pipe if you can, if you can see that. Um, it's really great for veneer projects. If you're going to apply this to a, a substrate, uh, hopefully a flat and smooth substrate, this works great for making, for really dressing something up with that great carbon fiber look. So that is our, our 0.25 millimeter. Then uh, the next one up is the half millimeter, uh, 20 thousandths of an inch. This one's got um, still quite flexible, but this one in terms of, of flexibility, you're talking about a, rel about a, a three to four inch pipe that it'll wrap around. Keep in mind that this, is, this material does not stretch and it will, uh, although it'll wrap around a pipe, it will not wrap around say a ball. So if you try to, to go a, a complex curve to two curves in one at, at one time, it just won't work. You get a crease just like you would like a piece of paper and it just doesn't work well. So keep that in mind as you're covering your projects. The 0.5 is a little more forgiving in terms of, of covering a, an uneven or, or a, a substrate that might have a little more uh, texture to it. So if, you're, if you don't have a perfectly flat smooth substrate that you want to cover with uh, that carbon fiber look, you might try the, the 0.5. Next one up is the one millimeter. This is now getting into the thickness that you might use for some structural applications as well. Again, got the beautiful gloss finish, has a, a bondable uh, peel ply finish on the back, we call it. And uh, this one will bend around approximately a 10 to 12 inch radius. So I'm sorry, diameter. So that one will uh, go about a tw uh, 10 to 12 inch pipe. So You've got um, some structural integrity on that one. If you want to build uh, specific parts, they, they're, they're pretty strong and rigid. The next one up is the 1.3 millimeter. Now you're really getting into some structural uh, integrity. This doesn't have a lot of flex. It will flex approximately around a 24 inch pipe, something like that. That's the thickest that we make with the gloss finish. From there up, it's a, uh, we have a semi-gloss finish that we can put on it or uh, that peel ply finish on both sides. This happens to be our 3.1 millimeter, um, an eighth of an inch approximately. It's really got no, very, very, very little flexibility in it. It's, uh, it's a pretty stout panel. So that's the, the, the thickest that we make in a stock um, thickness. However, we do go up to and including over a half an inch thick. This is a monster panel that we built a while back and um, over over a half an inch, almost three quarters of an inch of solid carbon fiber. So there's a, there's a, there's a, a lot of rigidity uh, to be sure in this one. So I think that'll do it for, for this first one. Um, call us, uh, email us, let us know if you've got any topics you'd like us to cover and we'll uh, put another one together on the next topic soon. Thanks.